don't even know where to start this one. All right, here we go. Think of a number, right? I want you to think of a number between one and 36. Think of a lucky number. What's your lucky number between one and 36? Concentrate on it. I mean, really concentrate on it. And try and read your mind. You ready? I think your lucky number, 17. Did I get it right? Because I'm psychic. It's not because I'm psychic. It's because I've got a 1 in 36 chance of getting the right number. And some of you are going to choose 17. I used to always choose 17 when I played roulette. I actually chose three other numbers as well. I used to choose 7, 28 and 29, but I'll explain why I chose 7, 28, 29 at the end of this vlog. So stick around until the end and I'll, uh, I'll explain that to you. But the reason why I chose 17 was it was my lucky number. The amount of times I won when I put money on 17 is incredible. Also, the amount of times I lost on 17 was most probably just as incredible. And the reason being is because I don't believe in lucky numbers. I did it at the time, don't get me wrong, I did it at the time. But I don't anymore. This is not a gambling vlog, by the way. But let me just explain, I need to explain a couple of things with it. How much would you spend on a night out, on a Friday night? How much would you spend? Me? I'd spend 50 quid. I'd be going out on my own. I'd enter a pokes tournament for 25 quid. I'd buy myself a couple of beers for like six quid. And then the other 19 quid, in the breaks at the poker tournaments, I used to go and play on the roulette wheels in the breaks. And I used to always put the numbers down on seven, 28, 29, and 17. But why 17? 17, because I always thought, I couldn't, I couldn't draw my eyes away from it. I thought that was my lucky number. I needed to do it, needed to put 17. And if I didn't put it on 17 and it came up, I'd be cursing myself for the rest of the night. So I had to put it down on 17. Now those days are long gone, as I said, I mean, I knew always in the back of my mind, I knew there was no such thing as lucky numbers. I knew that, it was just, it's just chance, it's pure chance, what happens and how it works. But for my eyes, it had to be, uh, at the time, lucky numbers. Some people have it with red or black, you know, it's again, it's like, if you put down, if red comes up three, let's say red comes up five times on a row, the chance that it's gonna be red the next time is exactly the same as the previous, because it's just a game of chance, that's all it is. So it's, uh, it was a weird thing with roulette. And the thing about me playing the poker tournaments and playing tournaments rather than cash was because I knew if I played cash with my addictive personality, I knew I'd mostly get myself into a lot of trouble. Helicopter's out. Sounds like the African women are having an argument. So do you have a lucky number? Do you? And if you do, what is it? Let us know. And do you believe in it? Because recently, more and more, something's been happening, which has been a bit bizarre, a bit weird, and a bit, make me think about it more and more, about numbers. And it fascinates me because I now believe it, as I said, I don't believe, I don't believe in lucky numbers, but I do believe in chance. Sometimes I do believe, actually no, I do believe in chance, yeah. The number I want to talk to you about is number one, 11, 11, 11, 111, 111. And it's weird. It's absolutely weird what's been happening. This vlog isn't just a vlog just made up in the last couple of days. Um, this vlog has been the making for, well, it's probably about three years now. And the reason why is because of these numbers. The amount of times I pick my phone up and look at the phone screen and all of a sudden all I can see on the phone screen for the time is 11.11 is ridiculous. It got so much so that we got to the point, I mentioned it as Shelly, and we got to the point where I started texting Shelly at 11.11. I used to text it, I used to screenshot it and send it up, there you go, there it is again. And even to a point now where she spots it. So today, even at the moment, ah, oh, it's close, it's 11.04, but today, when we see 11.11 now, we screenshot it and send it to each other. Oh, there you go. Must mean something, does it mean something? Now don't get me wrong, I've got as far as Googling it, 
and I couldn't get off the first page of Google without the mumbo jumbo of spiritual numbers and what it means and it's your future and you know people are watching over you and it's your dreams and I'm like nah 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 I don't I don't believe I don't believe in any of that so I can't get past that first page however I'm also wary about numbers and the fact that I'm not going to recognize 1034 as a time consistently because the numbers there's no pattern in there Whereas 1111 11, is a consistent, smooth pattern that's attractive most probably to the eyes, maybe. I look at that and go, maybe that's the reason why. The attraction to the eyes is the reason why I see this number. I see 111 a lot as well. And that's when um, normally when I'm going home, I'm finishing work and I'm on the motorway. And I'm going down the motorway because I finish at one o'clock. And I'm down the motorway and I'm looking down at my speedometer where my clock is. And it's a little digital clock saying 111 all the time. Funny enough, the speed I'm going on the scooter is I'm going maximum speed on the uh, the motorway, which is actually 111 kilometers an hour. But it's 111 kilometers. So there again, it's that number of 111. So it just absolutely fascinates me. I just see it all the time and it's really, really weird. But then this one came up, right? I was driving the car three days ago and I had to stop and grab my phone and take this photograph. So luckily I was on, not on the motorway, I was on the side of the road. And I just pulled over and said, shall I just grab my phone out, the, uh, grab my phone out of my bag? So she grabbed my phone, I picked it up, clicked the photograph, and this is what I found. It's quite a significant moment, that, isn't it? 111,000 miles, 111. Sorry, kilometres on my car. And when you think of these numbers of 111s and all that and everything that happens, it's just like, what is going on at the moment? You know, it wouldn't surprise me that the time to finish this vlog is going to be 11.11 when I finish the vlog. Because I know the times that I am at the moment of what I'm... Uh, of where I am and it's just weird because it's now I'm, being, I'm getting I'm almost like looking for that number so now if I was back in the roulette in the casino world of my Friday nights playing roulette I'd most probably have to direct myself more towards number 11 if somebody said to me now what's your lucky number I'd say 11 not because I believe in the look of a number but because of the frequent frequency of the times that I've seen this number I now start thinking that must be it and that must be a real one it's bizarre don't you think really weird but here's the macabre of it the number 11 has got no significance in my life whatsoever who's to say that it's a lucky number 11 11 is that the date of my death is that the time of my death? Is that the date something significant is going to happen? I don't know. No idea. It's bizarre because when you think of it that side, you know? It's really weird. 11 11. I know 11 11 has got significance as well in history, but it shouldn't have a significance in my life, should it? I don't think it should anyway. So that's the first one. I mentioned right at the beginning of the vlog when I was at the roulette table. I used to treat myself. I used to put the numbers down on number 17 and then I put it down on 28, 29 and seven. And the reason why I always put it down on 28, 29 and seven is very simple. If you look at a roulette wheel, 28, 29 and seven are all next to each other. So in essence, for two chips, I'm getting three numbers. And I was putting it down more to chance rather than lady looks. I thought if I get it in that area as a roulette wheel, rather than actually pick a number. I chose 28, 29, 7 because simply my birthday is the 29th and I just thought I'll hit that area. It wasn't really a scientific fact for that, it was more a probability of look, it's going to hit somewhere on a board, so let's have a go at that area and see if I can get it into that area. And I must probably have more success on that than I did actually on number 17. But if you know of anything, what numbers, what 11, the relevance of 11 is, stick it in the comments below, will you? Ah, that's what I wanted to tell you about, yeah. I've come across about three... No, I've, you know what it is again? I'm going to tell stories and I'm going to forget what I was going to say. There's two more things I need to tell you. Number one. Which one do I do first? I'll do the lady falling over first. I was in the bar two nights ago. It was... Funnily enough, it, if I looked at my time, it'd be 11.11 because the act finishes at 11 o'clock. I'm on that stage and I was in my second song or third song. So we're talking around about the 11.11 time. 
and early on in the night I'd seen this couple walk in get off a motorability scooter very very carefully walk in because they're not very stable on the feet and they were sat opposite me on the stage watching the act and when the act finished they were finishing the drink and I'm on stage I'm in the middle of I don't know getting jiggy with it or something like that and I see them get off and the husband gets off and leaves and she gets off the, uh, the stool and she starts to leave and I'm watching I'm going there's a step from the bar to the patio from the bar to the terrace that's just a, it's a simple step it's nothing major and I thought I need to help her down that step but I was busy I was in the middle of a song and she's got a stick and she's a walker and I thought she's fine and I thought she could fall but I didn't do anything about it 20 seconds later, sure enough, thud. She took a step down, fell backwards, went right back, smacked the back of her head on the floor of the bar. And that's me in the middle of just like on stage, stopping doing what I was doing, straight down helping her, there's about three people. And for two days, and even now talking about it, I feel guilty as hell. Because I think to myself, should I have, am I responsible? Because I should have helped her, I could have helped her. The worst thing was about the lady, she had blood coming out the back of her head. So I knew it was a big bang that she had. And for the next couple of days, I'm thinking she could have like the following day, you know, she could have passed away from a trauma. She was an elderly, elderly person. Luckily, we saw her last night in the bar and she's fine. Some great to my relief as well. But the fact is when you think you could have prevented something like that from happening, but you don't act at the same time at that moment. And 99% of the time I'd act and I'd go and help her. It's just this one time that I don't help somebody, that happens, and it racks me with guilt. It's ridiculous, isn't it? So I put that question to some of the people in the bar the following day, I said, should I feel guilty? Now, we're having a bit of a joke and laugh about it, and someone, yeah, yeah, you should feel guilty, and other people, no, no, you've got nothing to do with you. But it's just like, it's one of those weird ones, isn't it? Because I can't help but feel guilty about it. And then I said, I'm most probably one of those people because I can see the future. I saw the future happen, and it happened. I said, I'll be, on that, I'll be one of those people in Final Destinations that stays on the roller coaster, or stays on the aircraft and then uh, the disaster strikes because I didn't react to it and didn't think I saw it and then didn't react to it. So uh, has that ever happened to you? Has that ever happened to you? Let us know in the comments if you ask because I think it's, uh, it's quite an interesting one there. I've, I literally predicted the future. And uh, oh, that's a great name for the vlog. I predicted the future. And that's the reason why the vlog has this title. That was the first one. What was the second one? I knew I was gonna tell you two things. I mean. Getting more and more popular over here, them things. I've done one with two wheels, never done one with one. I've literally had to stop for five minutes and think what on earth the second thing was. It happens all the time when I'm walking. But I've found it out now, I've worked it out. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Last couple of weeks, I've got to meet loads of you that watch the channel. And your, your kind words are phenomenal, honestly, they're absolutely brilliant. Thank you so, so much. That, by the way, is Chilean Miners car park down there. It's a long way down. The Just Rick channel creates a lot of conversation, a lot of opinion. If you look at the comments, they're not normally one-line comments. They're normally quite a paragraph and stuff like that, which I love reading. I think they're fantastic. And I like replying to them. I try to reply to every single one. And this week alone, four people I've met have come to say, Rick, I've got to say I love your channel. I don't agree always what you say, but I think it's a great channel. And I'm like, what? How can you not agree with everything I say? <laughs> no, it's funny. It's like opinions, isn't it? I love the fact that we've all got our own opinions and we're allowed to share our opinions and we're allowed to express our opinions in a dignified, diplomatic way without hurling abuse at each other or without, you know, mudslinging but you can talk and have a proper conversation because I think that's what's now, what has now disappeared. I think the country in the UK, looking from a perspective away from the UK, looking in, I think it's lost its democracy very much. I think it's lost its um, common sense. I think it's lost its um, ability for people like ourselves to have an opinion. I think it's almost come to a point where people like me now are the ones now that have the silent voice rather than the, the loud voice I'm not saying it's a good thing we should have the loud voice but the actual fact is the, the silent voice is wrong as well 
you see it when I'm watching TV and you see people on arguments and they're discussing stuff and it's just not right the way the way it is. It's either it's got to be black or white and it doesn't always have to be black or white. It can sometimes be a little bit grey, you know? And that's uh, that's something that I think the country's lost a lot of and I'm seeing it more and more and I just think one day it's going to snap. There's going to be a straw that breaks the camel's back that'll just snap it and hopefully we get a reset and we can just start again. But uh, I don't know for now. I don't know. I think that's for a future vlog anyway. Um, I've waffled on enough. Enjoy your Friday. Look at the time. Well, isn't that, that is incredible. I'm just kidding. It's 11.16. You know what to do. See you on the next one.